God that I have come to know now can make all things possible. Then I read Luke chapter 1 verse 45. There shall be a performance of those things which the Lord has said to her. There shall be a performance to your dreams, to your expectation. God says, if you believe it, there's going to be a performance. And I, I ask myself, whom, with whom is all things possible? With whom is all things possible? Yeah. Who will perform my dreams? Yeah. Please don't be afraid. Say it loud. Yeah. Who will bring to pass my heart desires? Yeah. Who will give me grace to realize my dreams? Yeah. God. You know, as a young preacher, you may not believe this. When I was young, people said to me, do you need money? I said, yes. They said, I'm going to send it to you, particularly here in America. I'll give them my father's address, my mother's address, everything. Uh, even where my father was buried, I'll give them the address. <laughs> now we wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. Some of them that I have their phone number, we call, call. I just want to remind you what you promised me. I'm just reminding you, you said you are going to help me. Until one day God said to me, they didn't call you, I called you. Don't put my workload on people. Put it on me. And don't make it hard for yourself because my yoke is easy. My body is light. I know last night when you heard somebody say, she was going to give us 10 million. You say, oh, he has got it. When I was young, I wouldn't sleep because of that 10 million. But I'm glad to tell you, she didn't give me 10 million. Did you hear what I'm saying? I am glad to tell you, she didn't give me 10 million. Did you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm very happy to tell you that. Why well, am I happy? Because what man cannot do, God will do it. What she had done last night is to tell me that somewhere, somehow, one day, God is going to use somebody to give me 10 million for the gospel. Did you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. So don't go from here and say, I was there when, he, when she, he was giving 10 million last night. I didn't get one dime, but God is going to give me money. And sometimes it's going to be more than 10 million. And if you believe it, it will happen to you too. Did you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yes. So I read, there shall be a performance. And I said, thank God. The word of God said, there shall be a performance. Now, one day I came across a scripture in Genesis. He said, and Joseph was put in prison. And the Lord made him prosper in the prison. I said, what business was he doing there? None. How many of you know Joseph wasn't having trading and buying and selling in prison? But God made him prosper. If God can make a man in prison to prosper, what of me at home? Amen. It's my turn. Say, it's my turn. My turn. Say, I'm next. I'm next. Say, I'm next. I'm next. Say, I'm the next. I'm Joseph prospered in the prison. And here am I at home suffering. I'm not in trouble. Joseph was in trouble. He prospered. I'm not chained. Joseph was chained. He prospered. I wasn't betrayed. I'm not jailed. Joseph was jailed and he prospered. And I said, God, if you did it for Joseph, I'm next. I'm next without prison. I'm next without jail. Yes. But you are going to do me good. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Then I read that. That was the fourth scripture. Then I read the fifth one. All things are possible to him 
that believe it. All things, say that, All things. are possible, possible to him yeah. that believe it. And I said, what? I'm a believer. Why am I not doing all things? Why is it that only a few things? Why am I doing few things? When all things are possible to him that believe it. How many of you are believers? You've got the license to start to prosper. Did you hear me? Tonight, God is going to give you the license to start to prosper. Because the righteous shall flourish. I said the righteous shall flourish. The righteous shall flourish. The righteous shall flourish. Don't deny it. The church is suffering less than expected. Much more than expected. The church is suffering. The Christians are suffering more than sinners. Almost all the bank in the nation belong to sinners. Almost the best hotels belong to those who don't go to church. Marriott, you know who owns it. You know the owners of Marriott. Mormon. They own Marriott. They make millions a day. Millions a day, billions a year. I have not seen one hotel yet where the proprietors speak in tongue. If there are, maybe very few. And if there are, it's going to be very small. Because Christians don't believe in big things. They serve a big God and do small things. And that's an insult to God. Because the devil is not as good as God. As a matter of fact, there's nothing good in the devil. And there's nothing bad in God. And with God, all things are possible. And all things are possible to him that believe it. I write that. I said, I said, me, I, am, I can become a possibilitarian. I can stop failing and start succeeding. If I can change the gear of my faith vehicle. If I can stop driving backward and start to drive forward. If I can accelerate in the front. If my own gear can move to the gear of the speed of faith of believing. If I can stop talking downward and start talking upward. If I can start to say the good thing and not the bad things anymore. If I can stop singing poor songs and begin to sing faith songs. If I begin to call myself a child of the living God. Instead of a child of failure, of disappointment. If I begin to look unto God instead of looking to my country. Because the, gov the Bible did not say the government shall supply all your needs. The Bible said, my God, my own God, the one I serve, shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. And when I read that place, according to his riches in glory, I knew that there's no poverty in glory. Somebody say hallelujah if you love God. I know some of you love caricature message, but I don't have one. You're looking for messages that say, hold on, the Lord will soon come. <laughs> Be patient with your suffering. When Jesus comes, you are no more going to suffer. It's a lie of the devil from hell. Amen. Jesus became poor that we through his poverty may become rich. Amen. Jesus died that your suffering might stop. Amen. Jesus became the one that paid price for my sickness and disease and sin. And many times we have accepted the God that forgives sin. We, forgive, we forget and we refuse to accept the God that blessed people. And when we see somebody prosperous in Christianity, you begin to think, is he still a Christian? As if the symbol of righteousness is iniquity and setback. The sign of holiness is not poverty. As a matter of fact, poverty is a disgrace to God. Because God's word said in 3 John 2, I wish above all things that thou, say me, may prosper, be in health, even as my soul, Prosperate. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Don't only prosper in soul. Prosper in spirit. Prosper in job. Prosper at home. Prosper in business. Prosper in town. Prosper everywhere. Prosper in the name of Jesus. Prosper. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. The Bible says you shall be the head and not the tail. 
The Bible says you shall be a lender, not a borrower. The Bible says you shall be blessed when you go out. I said you shall be blessed when you come in. You shall be blessed when you lie down. You shall be blessed when you rise up. Say I'm blessed. Somebody shout hallelujah. Take the curse out of your head. Remove the curse from your head. Stop only liking bad things. What a shame when Christians hear their sales in, in, in Kmart, they are the first to be there. Sales, Jesse Penny, they are the first to be there. Sales, in any more, Christians are the first to be there. Why? They don't believe they, they deserve good things. They are only qualified. They are poverty oriented. They have been taught the poorer they are, the nearer they are to God. Whereas, poverty is a disgrace to God. How can your heavenly father have everything and you have nothing? How can your God be Alpha and Omega and you are nothing? How can your God say, the silver am I, the gold am I, the thousand cattle on the hilltop and the hill where the cattle is standing belong to my God? Yeah. And you have nothing on earth. It's a trick of the devil for you to think. The poorer you are, the holier you become. That's not true. I say that's not true. <laughs> Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Just eat the word. When I preach it, you swallow it. When I preach it, you swallow it. Yeah. If you love the Lord, wave your hand. Say, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Say, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. So I read this scripture, and then one day I read the book of Revelation. Behold, I set before thee an open door. And he said, no man can shut it. So I said to myself, what can I do if I know I wouldn't fail? What could you do if you know you couldn't fail? What could you do if you know you couldn't fail? How many miles can you go if you know there's money to, to go there? How many houses can you build if you know God will provide you the money? I began to ask myself, Idahosa, what could you do if you knew you couldn't fail? And God said, all things. Somebody say, all things. all things. So when preachers come to me in Africa and say, bro, things are very down. Um, there's no money here. I say, I wish your God and my God were the same. Because if the God that I serve is the one you serve, with my own God, all things are possible. If the God that I know is the one you know, you are the head and not the tail. Amen. You are blessed and not cursed. Yes. And guess what? I began to teach my people to cancel the curse out of their head. Because Galatians 3.13 says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Say, I'm redeemed. I'm redeemed. There's no Christian that's under the bondage of the enslavement that the devil tried to put you in. If you believe that silver belongs to God, God doesn't use silver. If you believe that gold belongs to God, God doesn't use gold. If you believe that a thousand cattle on the hilltop belong to Heavenly Father, God does not eat beef. So who does he have all these things for? Say me. me. Somebody say me. me. Say I. I. We have been so talked out of blessing that the only good song we know how to sing is suffering song. We have been so oriented by sinners to believe that we have no right to have access to our Father's treasure. And Jesus said, I give you the keys of the kingdom. And many of you have key, but you don't know where the door is. So you are living in hunger and starvation and nakedness. And you hearing me here in Nigeria. And you hearing me anywhere. You are hearing me in Africa now or in England. Your suffering would have been gone long ago. If you believe what I'm saying tonight. That your heavenly father owns everything. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The money in this bank, in this world, come from your heavenly father. 
Government is not the owner of everything. God is the owner of everything. So what did I do? The first thing I did was to take my name out of the list of those who are cursed. Somebody didn't hear me. I removed my name from the list of those who were cursed. I took my name out of the list of those who are not prospering. And the Bible said, be it unto you according to your faith. So I said to myself, from now, my faith is that I'm good. Say, I'm good. I'm, good. I'm, on, top. I'm on top. I'm not at the bottom. I'm, not at the I'm the head. I'm the not the tail. I'm, the I'm, in, the I'm in the front. Not at the back. I'm I am blessed. I'm, I'm not cursed. I'm the Lord is my shepherd. Lord is shepherd. That's, all That's all I need. Say, hallelujah. hallelujah. Say, hallelujah. hallelujah. I who was the president of Poverty Associates. I removed my name. I, who was the chairman of Have Nothing Incorporated, I removed my name. I, who was the chief of all sinners, I took my name away. And I said, God, whatever faith it takes to be well, I'm going to be well. Amen. Whatever faith it takes to bless the poor, I am not going to be the poor. I'm going to be the one blessing the poor. Then I heard, then I heard that the righteous shall flourish. So I said, God, I am tired of having little things. I want to flourish. And the Lord said, if you hold me and I hold you, you will flourish. So for 32 years now, I grabbed God's trousers. And for the last 17 years, I refused to let him go. And I began to believe that my God is not as small as the government. Amen. 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 My God is not as small as the biggest bank in the world. Amen. With bank, many things cannot be done. But with my God, all things are possible. Yeah. Somebody say hallelujah. Yeah. And I began to learn lessons. On how to live righteous life. On how to make Christ the strength of my life. And I began to learn the lesson that Paul learned. When Paul said, it is no longer I that live it. Yeah. But Christ that live it in me. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. I began to take God to my street people. I began to take this God I'm talking to you about tonight to the blind and they began to see. Amen. To the lame and they began to walk. Amen. To the deaf and they began to hear. Amen. To the weak and they became strong. Yes. To the downtrodden and God began to lift them up. Yes. Then the day I read, the Lord is the lifter of my head. Yes. He's the lifter of my head. Yes. God is the lifter of my head. Yes. I said, God is the lifter of my head. Yes. I began to sing a new song. I began to tell myself the things that are impossible with men is possible with God. Yes. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Yes. I began to think right. Yes. I began to wish myself good. No matter what you wish me, I wish myself good. Yes. No matter how you look at me, I look at myself as beautiful. Then yes. I began to find in the Bible how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel. Yes. So I began to wear good shoes instead of bad shoes. I began to read in the Bible, you shall worship God in the beauty of his holiness. Yes. So I began to pull off my old poor garment and began to worship God in the beauty of his holiness. Hallelujah. I said, this is too beautiful to be ugly because God did a perfect work in her life. Hallelujah. And this man is too handsome to look ugly. You say you are from Africa. Africa is where the ark went to. That's why we are called Africa. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. The ark of promise is now in Africa. Africa. Right. So nobody from Africa should miss the ark of promise. So I began to tell myself. I'm going to be the head and not the tail. Then yeah. one night, Pastor Milton. God says, son, do you know why you have small things? I said, no. He said, because you don't believe in big things. I said, I do. He said, no, show me one big thing you've done. I look around my whole life, not one. <laughs> 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 
Then I read this scripture I want to read to you tonight. Are you ready for it? Amen. Ephesians 3. Lo grosso ye hei bramata, lo grosso ye do. Le moro boha parasa ye, hekele. Bando mo hi prosso ye do do. Ephesians 3. Has this any pastor blessed already? Yes. Is anybody ready to set new goal yet? Yes. Say ah! ah! Is any believer ready to start a new life yet? Yes. Say ah! ah! Uh. And I read this one. Ephesians 3.17 That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. That ye being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and width and height. Verse 19. And to know the love of Christ which passed knowledge, that ye might be filled, that ye might be filled, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Pastor Wittenberg, we serve a full God. I'm a child of the God of fullness. Full in health. Full in joy. Full in prosperity. Full in abundance. Full of miracles. Full of surprises. Full of upwardness. Full in whatever I lay my hand to do. That God may fill your heart with the fullness of God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I took my name out of the list of those who have nothing. First of all, I understood for the first time 17 years ago, for the first time. 17 years ago, for the first time, I read that the Bible said that Christ may dwell in my heart, not poverty to dwell in my heart. Where there's no Christ, there are crises. But where there's Christ, there's no crisis. That Christ may dwell in my own heart. So I said, all the poverty I've been thinking, where has it come from? Not from God. God never tell you you are going to be sick. God never tell you you are going to be down. God never tell you you are going to be weak. God never tells you that. God, the Bible says, Every good and perfect gift come from Father of Light. Somebody said the Father of Light. Father of Light. Amen. Every good, brother Melton, and perfect gift. Yes. If it's good and it's perfect, is a gift. Yes. Amen. You didn't hear me. Amen. Many times I ask myself, why do American preachers always put <laughs> in their tapes? Don't copy it. Because they are afraid when you know it, they will not have any more. If your anointing is big, you will not be afraid of somebody touching you. Amen. It's because the one you have is so small, you think when I touch you, I'm going to take all. That's why you come from the back of the stage before they know where you are, you've already sneaked out. <laughs> and here we have not a high priest that cannot be touched. Oh, Our high priest can be touched. Say hallelujah. I say our high priest can be touched. Yeah. And I'm glad that God is touching you today. Yeah. Wherever you are now, God is touching you right now. Yeah. He's touching you to meet your need, to make you stronger. Yeah. That Christ may dwell in your heart. Say, Jesus is dwelling in me. Jesus is dwelling in me. The Bible says that Christ may dwell in your heart. How many of you know that Christ is dwelling in your heart? Yeah. Keep your hand up. Now let me ask you a question. How many of you know that Jesus in your heart is not poor? Amen. How many of you know that the Christ in your heart is not down? Amen. How many of you know that the Christ in you is not sick? Amen. How many of you know that the Christ in you is well? Amen. 
How many of you know that Jesus in you have life and life more abundantly? Yeah. Wave your hands and say, Aye! Oh. If the God I'm talking about is the one that you know, Jesus dwells in me. Where is the room for poverty? God cannot share his throne with two kings. And your heart is not big enough to occupy devil and Christ. Hallelujah! Your heart is not big enough to contain God and contain the devil. You didn't hear me. Hallelujah. Your heart is not large enough, Sister Georgia, to carry Jesus and carry poverty. And the first thing Jesus does when he enters a man's heart is to sweep it clean. Yes. Amen. Say, I'm clean by his blood. I'm by his blood. Say, I'm made whole by his blood. I'm by his blood. Say, I'm a new creation by his blood. Then I found that the Bible says, Christ can dwell in me by faith. So I say from today, poverty, get out of my heart. Amen. Even the thought and idea of faith. The thought of it. Then the Lord told me, I'm going to teach you how to talk. So every time I want to say a doubtful thing, say, push it back. That's not from me. When I want to say, I don't know what to, but I have no ma, ma, cha, but. I'm not what, but. everybody say, get up, blood. I don't know what up, but. began to learn to speak surely say surely sure. goodness sure. and mercy sure. shall follow me sure. all the days, all days. of my life sure. shout hallelujah sure. how many days of your life oh. how many days of your life oh. how many days of the month all of them Of my life. Uh -huh. Give God a hand if you believe the Bible. So I said, God, I hear you. Say, God, I hear you. But I said, how can I do it? You've told me not to worry about prosperity. You told me that if I plant my seed, I will reap harvest. You told me if I seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all other things shall be added. I became a child of addition. I'm no more a child of subtraction. Don't worry, 3D, don't worry. I began to say, a woman like this have no right to be poor. Too beautiful to be poor. I began to say, a young man as handsome as this have no right to be at the back. His head is too bright to be, to be down. I began to teach my children, you are the head and not the tail. 
you are first in the class. And my children are all straight A students. Where would they get the poor brain from? I'm smart, their mother is smart, and God is smart. Can you say hallelujah? hallelujah? My son won who is who among who is who in American high school. My daughter had just won who is who among who is who in American high school. All my children are who is who among who is who. Give me a hallelujah. hallelujah. My first boy and my first girl, they won the award of who is who among who is who. So their father must be who is who. <laughs> Children of who is who among who is who. Oh my kabokolo bo hey pro soyol. But I said, God, how do I do the impossible? And listen to what God told me, verse 20, Ephesians 3 20. <laughs> now, say now. now. I didn't believe that prosperity can have a beginning. I didn't know. I thought it was just for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, or perhaps for the old man, Hagin, or all the Canaanites. No. He said, now, say now, now. Unto, him unto him that is able to do. Able to huh? Say now. 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 To him, to him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all 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 that we ask or think so God told me the solution is in your asking or thinking. Amen. Hold your ear, say I hear, I hear you. And you on TV say I hear you. I hear you. And you say it on their behalf, I hear you. I hear you. Hold your ear, say I hear, I hear you. Hold your right ear, say I hear you. I hear you. God is able to do. I thought it was me. I didn't know it was God. Not by might. Amen. Not by power. Yes. Hallelujah. But by my spirit. Yes. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Unto him. So I said God what do you mean? He said give it unto me. That is able to do. So that's not my father in this world. It's my father in heaven. Unto him, Amen. brother. Yes. You have no right to be poor. I know that. Amen. Amen. <laughs> brother, you have no right to be poor. Amen. Amen. My sister, you have no right to be poor. Amen. God is able to do. Amen. So the Lord said to me, say, set goal and let me do it. Set goals and let me do it. Dream big dreams. Holy Amahaka. Dream big dreams. Somebody asked me two days ago in Tampa. A few days ago. He said, Papa, I said, yes. He said, how do you prosper with one dollar? I said, one dollar in a small hand passed to a big hand with a big mouth of faith in a big God of blessings. Hallelujah. Take it to Jesus. I said, take it to Jesus. If you want abundant life, Remove your name from the list of poor people. Right. Now, I, and I see, I see many, many people come from America to Africa to look for pictures of children with flies in their mouth. That is not Africa, that is TV Africa. Right. 
That's American begging pictures Africa. If you want to know how Africa look like, this is one. Kwashoko children, and then most of you are foolish to, to think that that is Africa. Now a man shows you program on Monday, the same baby will fly in the mouth. Friday, the same baby will fly in the mouth. And he said, give me money to give. If he was sending the money to the baby, don't you think it's time for the flies to get out of the mouth? Somebody say amen. amen. When I come to America or go to England, I don't take the picture of the bad thing I see. I take the picture of the good things I see. Everything I hear in America that is wrong, when I enter the first class seat in the aircraft in New York, when the flight take up, I say I leave all the bad things behind. Amen. I don't take them to Africa. But when American preachers go to Africa, they look for naked children, they look for lizards, they look for snakes. Instead of looking for souls, they are looking for snakes. Instead of looking for good people, they are looking for children who have no dress on. To say, send me money. Then you send them $200, they give the baby 18 cents. And on the day of judgment, they are going to pay for it. Because they lie in the name of those children. They lie. Most of those children they are taking the offering for, the children die before they get here. And you send them money anyway. And they put it in their headquarters. They leave the pulpit and begin to sit down to show you pictures of children with diarrhea, with pneumonia, with kwashoko, with blind eyes. And I just pray that God will not judge America like that. Don't only go to nations and look for bad things. Get the good of the land. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. So God began to teach me. He said bless your people. Tell them they are blessed. So when you shake my hand in the morning. I'm blessed. Amen. Amen. I'm blessed. Amen. In the evening. I'm blessed. Amen. In the night. I'm blessed. Amen. Amen. Wherever I go, say it. I am. Say hallelujah. Say I'm blessed. Say I'm well. I'm on top. I'm not down. I'm success. I'm not a failure. The Lord is on my side. Shall flourish. Yeah. The righteous shall flourish. Yeah. Your skin have nothing to do with your prosperity. Amen. Your city have nothing to do with your prosperity. Yeah. Where God is, there's life. Yeah. Say there's life. Yeah. So God told me, I am able to do exceeding and abundantly. Yeah. Or above, say above. above. I didn't hear you. Above. Say above all. Above all. We can ask. We can ask. Or think. Or think. You know why you have never done anything big in life? You think you are the one going to do it. So when you want to buy a car, you look for a car according to your income. And when you need small money, you pray. But when you need big money, you go to the bank. <laughs> That's how you people do it in civilized nation. Where you need ten dollars, I believe in the name of Jesus. I have it now. I claim it. I'm sure. I got it. Amen. Hallelujah. But when you need one thousand, uh -huh. Citibank. <laughs> Why? You talk big and act small. You serve a big God and live a small life. Why? You don't believe. 
You can jump and shout and rumble. Your jumping does not tell me your testimony. Paul right. says, show me your faith by your works. Right. Can you say hallelujah? hallelujah? You say, thank God, I'm poor. Thank God, I have no car. Thank God, shame on you, shame on you, shame on you. The righteous shall flourish. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You say, the reason I'm poor is because I'm very holy. It's a sign of iniquity. Because when you are a sinner, you are cursed when you lie down. You are cursed when you rise up. You are cursed when you go out. You are cursed when you come in. And the Bible says in the book of Hosea, you earn salary and put it in the leaking pocket. If you were righteous, you will flourish. Yes. Yes. Say, I'm righteous. I'm righteous. <laughs> Say, I have right. I have right, I have right. I have right. to flourish. I'm a, I'm a righteous man. I can flourish. I can flourish. That is the scripture that changed my life. Unto him that is able to do. I didn't know I was not the doer. I thought I was the one to do it. But God told me I'm able to do. Exceeding abundant. Exceeding abundantly. Above. So how far can I ask? God can do above it. How much can I think God can do above it? So I said, eh, now I'm going to take limit of God. I'm no more going to be a, boy, a black boy from Africa, that poor man from Africa, coming to ask us one dollar. No, my God is not poor. My God is prosperous. Yeah. 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 I told God, I said, I'm going to be the symbol of prosperity. Bible said that they may see you and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So here am I. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. God is able to do exceeding, exceeding, abundantly, above all you can ask or think. How much can you ask? If you know you are not the one going to do it, ask for more. Right. If you know you are not the one going to do it, think more. Amen. Because God said, no matter how you think, I will beat you to it. Yeah. Hallelujah. So I changed my mind. I said, God, I will never build any school that is small. I will never be on TV that is small. I will never... I will never, I will never preach a message that is small. Whether I'm talking to 200 people or 2,000 people, or all the number of you here tonight, or in the big church, or in the crusade ground, to have a million people or one million people, God is a good God every day. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. So I told myself, now I'm going to be doing all that God told me he can do with me. For with God all things say possible. possible. Brother, I have a prophecy for you. Greer, your heart desire have almost crumbled. But God told me to tell you the war that broke down shall be rebuilt again. Every fiber of your body and every area of your life that the caterpillar worm and can worm have eaten. God will bring it back. For this expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off. The Lord shall bring it to pass, says the Spirit of the living God. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Because you have praised me in the face of all obstacles. Because you have declared that I'm a good God. From now shall I be the example of your proclamation. For my voice shall prove what you have testified. For you have told many that I am good unto you. For you have told many that I have blessed you. From now shall I not only bless you but make you a blessing. Because your mouth have confessed that the God you serve is a good God. So shall it be unto you, says the Spirit of the living God. In the name of Jesus, rise up. For the Lord shall say to you, your body is not made for sickness. 
Your heart shall not beat for fear. For the Lord thy God is a healing God. Take my yoke upon you, for it is easy. My burden is light, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. From this day shall you experience my power, says the Lord. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Sister, the Lord has healed you. 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 Some poka ba ma 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 mororo. Kelly ba 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 ma ma mororo. There are about eight of you with neck problem. There are about eight of you with neck problem. Rush here and take your healing before I finish my message. You have stiff neck. You have neck trouble. Neck trouble. Neck trouble. And there's somebody there whose right eye is seeming blind. You can't see with that eye. That eye is going to open right now. I need a few ushers to help me quickly. Leave it there. Leave it there. Leave it there. Where's the neck problem? Where's the neck problem? In the name of Jesus, he's healed. In Jesus' name, healed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree the healing of God upon your neck. Be healed in Jesus' name. Now be healed in the name of Jesus. Oh, Rabbi Michael, come here. Lift your hand up. Twist that neck. Check it. In the name of Jesus, it's healed. Now, brother, you are healed. In Jesus' name, you are healed. In the name of Jesus, you are healed. In Jesus' name, heal. In Jesus' name, heal. In Jesus' name, you are healed. Heal in the name of Jesus. Go. Go. Come on, go. 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 Epa mahakoroboyo. Leri abahakakakakokororo. Hila bama ha 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 ha. Crosso, hele, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Rokoma, release it in Jesus' name. Come on, go, let it go. In the mighty name of Jesus, turn that neck. It's healed now. In Jesus' name, go. Body be free, body be free, body be free from every injury, from every attack of Satan. Loose in Jesus' name, loose.